so our first step is going to be to gather our materials we have our fabric here and i'm using a much uh a scaled down pretty significantly scaled down piece of fabric just so you can see the entire piece here but i'll talk you through the orientation of it and everything then you're going to need your trim if you are using it for the sides if you're not using it i'll show you in a little bit um how to treat the sides but if you are using it go ahead and grab that as well and then you're going to need some bias binding for the neckline this is some that i've just made but you can obviously use the package stuff as well okay so for your fabric you are going to imagine that this is the cut length of our fabric so we've got our selvage edges here and down here at the bottom and we've got what was cut at the fabric store uh, on these edges so your fabric should be somewhat of a rectangle my finished caftan ended up being 64 inches from cut end to cut end and then 30 inches from selvage to selvage so I did trim down my fabric a little bit just to get the length that I wanted like how far down my legs it went which is this portion. This is how long it's going to be down your body. And then this is how wide it's gonna be. So this is how much it's gonna drape over your shoulders, how it's gonna fit over your hips. So you're gonna to wanna to make sure that this fits the widest uh, part of you. All right, now our very first step in turning this plain piece of fabric into a wearable garment is to take the short ends and match them up <clears throat> like so. So now we have half of our length and this folded edge here is what is gonna end up being our shoulders. So we're gonna take the bottom end and we are gonna turn that up. So now that we have um, four layers of our fabric, this is our shoulder, this acts as like our center front and center back, and then this is what is gonna be the side seams and this is gonna be your hem, okay? So we need to cut out a little bit of a area for your head to go through. I, on my, my big version, ended up measuring out three inches and cutting a three inch, three inches this way, three inches this way, and cut out a hole with a three inch, what would that be? Diameter, radius, <laughs> I get them all confused but I marked out three inches this way and three inches this way. One little tip I have is for you to grab something circular, whether that's a lid, uh, just any, a bowl, a plate, anything you've got, and just come in here, grab a pencil, and just make sure that you have a really pretty rounded edge that way. All right, then just cut out this circle this is gonna create an opening that is the same in the front as it is in the back. You can complicate things a little bit if you want it to you know, scoop down in the front. You would need to cut one of these, one layer of this deeper than the back. But for your first one, just to kind of get an idea of how it works, I highly recommend just going with, keeping it simple for this first one. Okay, so let's open this up and see what we've got. So now you can see you've got an opening for your head to go through. This is going to fold over or drape over your shoulders. This is gonna be your side seam and this is gonna be your hem. All right, so we need to go ahead and hem this. You can do as deep of a hem as you want. I think I ended up taking a one inch hem on mine, which means you're gonna take your fabric, you're gonna turn it up, wrong sides together, one inch, press, a, a crease into here then take your raw edges and put, place your raw edges in the crease you just made and turn that up and then stitch that down you're going to do that on both short ends and then for the long ends you are going to take your trim and you are going to place it right sides together with your fabric and I know this seems kind of counterintuitive for trim but this is how we are going to do it so that our raw edges um are stitched down and creates less fraying. So you're gonna stitch this all the way down, both long edges of your fabric, right? Where the, the like cute part of the trim, whether it's fringe or pom-poms or whatever is inside. And you've got the outer edge of your trim matched up with the raw edge of your fabric. Stitch all that down and then you turn it under along your stitching and you've got this really pretty finished edge you'll top stitch 
this all the way down as well. And so that'll secure the raw edges of your fabric and it'll secure the trim in as well. And then you are going to apply bias binding to your neck opening. Obviously you have a much bigger neck opening than I do. So it'd be a little bit easier for you to maneuver, but basically you just place the raw edges together. So I've got the raw edges of the, of the bias binding with the raw edges of the um, neck opening. And you just stitch that down all the way around. Once that is stitched down, then you're able to turn this over and back under and you will get a really beautiful finish along your neckline. Obviously you can use um, double fold or single fold bias tape on this. It just depends on whether or not you want the bias tape to show. If you want it to show, use double fold. If you don't want it to uh, show, use single fold and it'll turn out like that. So let me kind of get this demo caught up with all of that. I'm gonna hem one side, I'm gonna put some trim down and I'm gonna finish the neckline with as much of this little guy as I can so that I can show you the final step. This is really quick and dirty. So I can show you the final step of getting this little guy. Okay, so once you've done those three things, hem, trim, and finish up your neckline, you're gonna to have to pretend that mine's a little bit prettier than this. This super small hole and the big bias tape didn't make for like the prettiest finish, but um, you can see on my finished version what it will look like all nice and pretty when the proportions are right. But I wanna show you the final step. So I've told you guys, this is where it will drape over your shoulders. So you're gonna bring it together, wrong sides together, right? And you're gonna match your hems. You are going to match your side seams. And then you are going to stitch all along this edge here. Now you need to leave enough room for your arms to get through. On my finished version, I left 13 inches from shoulder to where that stitching starts. So you'll come down 13 inches and then stitch all the way. I think I only have like an inch or two on the sides hanging over here. So 13 inches down, roughly two inches in, and you were gonna stitch uh, this closed, wrong sides together. And when you are done, this is what it looks like. Your head goes through this hole, your arm goes through this hole, your legs go through what would be one hole here, and you have your cute little caftan. Super, super easy to sew, super, super cute by the pool, or if you have to run into the food store, anywhere you have to go on the way to and from the beach, dinner, cabana, whatever it is, this little caftan will have you covered, literally.